Driving in St. Bart's absolutely crazy. Give you a little taste of what it's like. People drive like maniacs here. <sighs> yeah, I just had a head rush yet and I forgot my bag is full of pork paperwork and I had to go back and get it. And came up here the other day and they got these traffic lights. And this one wasn't no problem. You wait, green light. But then when you're coming back, and they had no light, it was like running a Russian roulette. I had to turn around, and go all the way. It was insane. There was no light, and these cars are coming up, flying up the road. No caution. Incredibly dangerous. They finally put the uh, the traffic signal. They're doing a lot of road work here, tearing up, burying all the water lines and cables and stuff. But it was so dangerous I didn't come down because there was no light and people were flying up the hill on a very narrow road. Now you can't just pull over the side, it's got rot walls and trees and every kind of obstacle imagine. A lot of people die here on motorcycles and scooters and stuff. Last time I was here, uh, some guy got his arm torn off when I was leaving. If you're a uh, fiend on driving, don't ever drive here. It's totally insane. Got this long red light. It's been a real hectic trip. I mean, coming on a boat, we sailed about 250 miles. We ran into a unbelievable, odd kind of freak squall system that turned into like a tropical storm. I was worried I was gonna flip the boats, break the mast. Went through that, it's been real hectic, very little sleep, rushing around, got a lot of paperwork to do. My family, you know, it's all about with my family. Long story, won't get into that one. I could do a 10 hour video on that. Come on, light. So I came up through here yesterday, but then I was coming back down the hill and these cars are flying up the hill with no caution at all, but they had no light on the other side. So you are doing a gauntlet. The cars are coming up this hill flying and you had to come around this corner. I pulled over here and it was impossible. They had no light there. They had a light there now, but no light now. It, they, uh, light. Yesterday. I can't believe they, they would even do it without putting the light there. It's insane. Rusty driving here, you haven't been here in a while. Last time I was driving a scooter around for two months. Almost got killed about ten times. That's no joke. Diving on a bike here is very dangerous. A lot of people die here every year. But then on the other hand, because a lot of areas of roads are so narrow, cars are dangerous too, you know. People don't give much here. It's not like stop and let you out. It's just like a free for all. A lot of, a lot of hills, very steep. 
and everywhere there's rock walls so you just have nowhere to pull to the side you know Got a friend, the guy has a boat. He had to do some business over a thing and I left to go get my bag. Can't believe I left that. I've been just under so much stress with a sail over here and all, all the other stuff. Very little sleep. <clears throat> Not much eating. Lost 10 pounds already. It's a really beautiful island. It's crazy. Got parts that look like the Grand Canyon. Got all kinds of cool rock formations here. Some of the land goes uh, for uh, $20 million an acre up and over if it got beat front. If it's got a view, it's probably in that four to five million range average per acre. I don't like to film more of the stuff, but I just don't have the time. <clears throat> That's a business trip. I'm trying to squeeze in some video time. I mean, you're coming with inches of cars here. You see mirrors on the side of the road where people are clinking mirrors off. It's absolutely insane. I guess you drive it enough to get used to it, but. They got one police station on the island that closes on Sunday. <laughs> no police. Imagine that. Anywhere else would be the purge, you know. You gotta do a real hugging around the corners here. Very sharp, people come flying up and they got rock trucks on the road, carrying big loads of rock. There's always building going on here. Da, 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 breaking rock. Oh good, green light. The whole island's a rock. When you build a house here, it costs a lot of money just to put the foundation in. Because you gotta break so much rock. Some areas it's really hard rock. And it could take months just to cut out a cistern. They got these big speed bumps. They got these dips to slow you down. Coming into the uh, high traffic area up here, heading over to Lorient. If I can remember the way where I dropped my friend off. He had some business to attend to. That's Eden Rock over there. Real beautiful hotel. Very famous place. people they, they're doing wheelies on bikes around the corners it's, it's hilarious 
they got signs that say no wheelies but they do they're doing all kind of wheelies <laughs> I got the slow scooter in front of me. No pass zone. Yeah, I drove a scooter down here for about two months. It was insane. But I had it down pretty good, I mean, I pretty much was driving like one of the locals within a month. Ah, another stoplight. Well, these bikes don't like waiting for stoplights, they just keep going. It's like no, no rules there for the bikes, they just do whatever they want. You can park a bike anywhere in the town, you can park it on the sidewalk. Uh, cars, you park you know, too long, you get a ticket, and you know, they got all kind of rules. But bikes, uh, they encourage bikes here because they don't have a lot of space for parking. Have a lot more freedom, like for parking, if you pull in the town, you can park anywhere on a bike. You have a right to pull up on a sidewalk, uh, stuff like that. I wasn't planning on doing a driving video, but give you a taste of what it's like. And they're always busting the roads up here, man. Unbelievable. Island driving, man. St. Croix is a piece of cake up here. here. Hey, I remember where I was dropping my friend off. It was by this construction site. A lot of hot girls here, man. They're all over. You get all kind of beaver shots when you're driving by the coffee shops. They, they don't wear any panties, you know. And when they're sitting there, you get the beavers. Hey, if I get a chance, I'll drive to the town got limited time we're gonna go back another long sail another 120 miles five miles to go where's that construction site a lot of beautiful beaches here beautiful property a lot of rock formations a lot of caves very unique place very dangerous to drive though. Yeah, there it is, that tower crane. Yeah, take the right up here. That's that for that part. I'm, I'm almost to that friend, yeah. Some more back roads. Oh, I missed it, man. It was that road there. Man, I'm finding a place to turn around. next video back to driving in St. Bars number two going by the airport heading towards Gustavia so yeah I thought it was yeah I thought they had to turn and go around another stoplight
airports come in, the airports, the planes come in, they come over this hump and they land down there. And they come, I've seen planes that come within literally mere feet of vehicles there when they come over the hump. Oh, he's on first. Oh, oh shit. I'm oh, sorry about that. Yeah, oh well. Free man. This is the industrial area where the power plant is, a lot of the hardware stores, stuff like that, lumber stores. It's all concentrated in one area, which is a good idea. Not all spread out over the island. So you need your building materials, wood, hardware, stuff like that. Hit the power plant. Power's really cheap here, it's subsidized. It's gotta be the same price as France. Gustavia man. That's the boat out there. The one with the green awning. More rotary. the select I'll walk down or should I just go there now yeah in the winter time and April is the most peak season and then December and uh, January it's absolutely bedlam the tourists just walls of bikes and ATVs and traffic. But like I was saying in the other video, you can bike, park bikes all on the sidewalks, things like that. They have, it's way easier for parking. We'll just park at the uh, rental place. Yeah. It's not that far of a walk. We're gonna go to the select and have a burger, man. It's kind of crowded, but this place has been here. I think it was, uh, what's the date on that? 1949. I think the owner moved back to France. Had a big party for him when the last time I was here. You ever come here and you want to rent a scooter atv or car come here i'll show you right here. Yeah. Come, what's his name again uh, yeah. that's yeah that's Berenger, car rental bike rental that's where you want to come to. Give this guy some. I'm good over there. Look out there, dude. You good? I'm good. Back on here, heading to Le Mans Beach. Just a quick tour. Limited time.
wild skateboard hill here, man. Even with the bad economies around the world, this place is still semi-booming. That's new. Mons Beach over here to the right. Anybody coming here, that's a trail that goes to Columbia Beach on the other side. Start here. Am I good over there? How far? 
Seaweed man. There's a real cool spot over there. Yeah, like around the coast and this giant boulder and a swimming hole. Yeah, go around the coast then. my favorite spot up there right on the rock <laughs> they have free beach accesses to uh, Flamans there's one up here there's one we already passed uh, where is it? That's a beach access there. Another beach access. Alright, till the next clip. Green light. Yellow light.
This is Lorient. Got a nice beach here to the left. Can't really see it unless you walk up to it. I don't got the time. Show them some of the other areas of Bart. There's a little bit of it. That uh, contract um, that um, Dad signed. aren't so bad over here. Not all torn up. They got all these like bumps and stuff to slow people down, but they don't do much. <laughs> well, they fixed this hell up. This is all new pavement. This was all torn up last night. All these walls are new. When they build stuff at Save Bars, they build it to last. All oh, this beautiful stonework. You know, they don't build temporary, man. It's built for a forever. Costs a lot of money, but in the long run, it's cheaper. Everything's being buried. All the power, the water, the cables. I think this is the, as far as you go. No, no, this goes all the way around. Yeah, but they couldn't lock this road. This is a major road. This goes all. There's so many. Yeah. What block last time I was here? Damn, there's a lot of construction going on. They ain't messing around, man. Tearing up the roads. They think you tear up the road in Saint Croix? Oh, they ain't got. People live up there. That's their driveway. Yeah, heading down to Governor Bay. My grandfather owned all that land down there. Sold it to Rockefeller back in the 40s. It's worth like 200 million now. A Russian oligarch bought it. He has the uh, he had the largest yacht in the world. Now it's the second largest. I think the uh, the Arabs, the Arab uh, Emirates have it the biggest now, longest. So his is the second longest. estate down there. I don't know if you can see it down there. That used to be John F. Rockefeller State. It's changed hands like four or five times. Too bad you can't see the future, huh? Dad gave that land away, my grandfather. All oh, that land was his down in there in that valley. The whole beachfront was his. All 1,000 feet of it. 
this is Governor Bay is one of the best beaches on the island. It's not my favorite beach, but it's definitely one of the best. Flamans is my personal favorite. It's a lot. It's twice as long as this beach. They got nice parking here. Uh, I guess this part right here. I'm gonna just walk out. Quick film. Not staying there long. Oh, yeah. Yeah, quick film we're limited on time here so can't do much long filming they got these uh they do this uh, in st bart's all the beaches have these little ashtrays so you take one of these when you go on the beach if you're a smoker you put your cigarette butts in there and you bring them back some lady had that that idea and they did it to all the beaches it works really good and people use them This beach does get sargasso, but today it looks really nice. There's a big cave by that end of the point there, and there's a cave up there with st stalactites and stalagmites. They got ropes that go down into it, and then there's another cave over there. You walk about 50 feet through, and there's a swimming hole at the end. I wish I could go videotape it, but I don't have the time. And this. This was all my grandfather's land, all the way, all up on the hill there, that he sold to John F. Rockefeller. So he owned the whole beachfront. Okay, till the next clip. Over and out. Uh, back on here, over here at the uh, north. I guess it would be the northwest end of St. Bart's. That's St. Martin over there, that's Fork Island. A real beautiful spot. This is a island. That's Flamond's Beach down there. Beautiful, that's my favorite beach here. 2,000 feet of sand. All kind of views up here. A lot of K up. Oh, got a turtle here. St. Mark's is full of turtles. Over here. It's like a big moonscape here with all the rocks. That's the governor's house up there, Bruno. sargasso coming in here a whole trail of it but it's not hitting the lawns it's hitting this area that's Columbia Beach that's a really nice calm cove in there that was a fork island that's where we moored when we we're coming over from st. Martin I don't know the name of all these little islands Real beautiful terrain. Got a lot of goats on this island. They are doing a lot of damage to the foliage. That's their national animal. A lot of little caves on the side of these rocks. I hiked through the bush here and went along the edge. Seven years ago. 
did a lot of hiking. I hiked the whole coastline of St. Barks. Everything that was hikeable. Beautiful coast. Really nice breeze here. That's the tallest peak over there. Can't remember the name of it. Here, man, it's like air conditioning. A lot of the turtles go under these holes. Maybe there's some under there. I don't know. I'll bend down there. All right, till the next clip. Hello, Mongoose here on going to St. Jean Beach. Just giving a quick look. We're gonna might be leaving tomorrow night, sailing back to St. Croix. <clears throat> Got an appointment in about an hour. Hope that all goes smooth and then me the, uh moving on man. That's Eden Rock over there. This used to be open, but they blocked it off. This little runway here when the planes take off. Can't walk across here. No boats can sail within that perimeter there. Because I was here in like uh, seven years. No, I was closing. It was uh, 2000. There was a Hobie Cat sailing across here, and a plane was taking off. It just almost flipped the mast. And people were almost getting hit on the uh, beach, so they closed it. Are there any planes taking off? No. It's a nice beach. Very little sargasso. They clean it up here though. I've noticed the beaches that had it, they were raking it and taking it out. All right, just a quick clip. No plane taking off. Over here at the U at uh, St. Bart's. It's a brand new supermarket. <clears throat> they have another U, but it was smaller than this one. Got all kind of cool stuff. Yeah. Let's do a little quick video, show what it's... Heineken! Coke cold products, American products, water... The other store was a lot smaller. Things are a lot more money. Anything that's American is... That's like six euro for a six pack of Coke. Yeah. That big wine selection. Nice, nice 
line. Avocados. Fresh tomatoes. Just a quick tour of the U supermarket. <laughs> 